Hello my friends, thank you for joining me today. Uh, today we're talking about Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. Uh, these are my thoughts on this fairy tale fantasy. That's kind of a loosely based Rumpelstiltskin retelling, but very loosely. It is a very strongly anchored Judaism story where at the beginning we have this family that is struggling. Uh, they are like the lenders, the money lenders in their rural community. And uh, the dad that runs it is not so good at getting the money out of people. So he has his daughter Miriam go out and start getting the money and she's actually really good at this. And she ends up getting the money that's owed to her, to her family. So this ice demon elvish type being called a Staric notices this and has her turn silver into gold. And she does this by using the silver to create jewelry that then she can sell for gold. Now at first this is great for her and her family, but after she does it three times, the elvish Stark King wants to uh, marry her and so she goes into this other world that's like very ice focused and tries to live there uh, while she's gone this other girl takes care of the business called Wanda she's a very poor individual she has a very horrible upbringing uh, her family is uh, struggling her father is abusive and, and an alcoholic and her brothers are struggling so she does this for Miriam and she does a really good job and she is helping her family out basically so then there's a third girl in this story her name is Irnushka and she is a princess basically and she ends up marrying or being betrothed to this guy that unbeknownst to her is like possessed by this uh, fire demon so obviously now we have an ice versus fire conflict that ends up in this story so first thing I want to say about this story is that it's written in first person but it switches point of views so there are these three women mostly that have point of views but they're all in first person and in the book and I listened to this on audiobook it's not very clear when the point of view changes and who it changes to so at first you like the first and the next section you kind of have to figure out like who did it jump to and I found this extremely annoying uh, all, all they had to do is put like little name headings for each section I, I would have been happy but they didn't and it was confusing uh, maybe it wasn't confusing to some people but it was to me um, also in this story there's a switch in tone and focus at first it's this great focus on these women trying to help their family and trying to get out of poverty um, the focus is on economics rural life in this climate that's unforgiving and I really enjoyed that part of the story but then it focused the focus became this royal palace living with these ice the ice demon or the fire demon type things and the focus ended up becoming on the men that they met and I thought that was kind of odd because it really is like a very woman focused story but then all the conflict everything becomes about these two men and it, I just did not care for that too much I wanted to still remain about these families and how they're getting out of being poor and stuff the whole uh, become a bride of a king or a prince type thing does not interest me whatsoever so it kind of lost me at that point and around the midway point it got a little boring as well I really liked the focus on Judaism in this the focus on uh, money lending and economics at the beginning and the focus on rural life and just like surviving in this harsh climate this harsh uh, atmosphere where Jewish people aren't really trusted all that much I thought that part of this story was really good but the actual fantastical elements just didn't do it for me uh, I ended up giving this a three I enjoyed it but I thought it could have been a lot better and it definitely it wasn't bad by any stretch of imagination uh, but I think a lot of people that do like fairy tale retellings especially people that liked uprooted will really like this one too 
Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you check out my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Goodreads. Uh, I'll see you next time for another review or thoughts on a book. <laughs> see ya.